This 42-year-old Econ Betty from Hoima District is one of those people living with HIV AIDS who has enrolled on the Elimination of Mother-to-Child Transmission campaign now over four years ago. Econ has now two children. All are HIV AIDS negative and she attributes this achievement to the consistency she had had with the medics. According to her, this has been possible with the frequent visits whenever she has complications with her health. The, what, the instruction very carefully, the way how they told me that when you're under treatment, don't miss the word to swallow your tablet. It should come to your tablet day day. Econ is among the many mothers that have registered success against this new anti-HIV AIDS platform. But like the saying goes, all is well when done well. This platform is also meeting a number of challenges that are best explained by the figures of those mothers that were once enrolled on the program but slipped off the hook. According to Nankwanga Ruth, in charge of the mother-baby care unit at Hoima Referral Hospital, where the EMTCT campaign has been launched today by the First Lady, many positive women that were enrolled on this platform fell to adhere to instruction and thus end up having positive babies. Some mothers had declined taking the treatment and some had started doing mixed feeding. In the process, they are not supposed to breast feed and give you other feeds for the first six months. In spite of these challenges, trades are slowly being registered, although challenges now are met on the side of containing new HIV AIDS infections. The First Lady Janet Kataham Seven is returning the gun on men who she accuses of infecting young girls. Now, it is the parents who are the role models to show their children that it's okay to just have all these mm -hmm. relationships. That it's okay. Because men are having uh, relationships with young people mm. in these uh, many hotels and, and, and places where they go with children that are the age of their children. This is a very expensive money and people in drugs. So we must make sure we can use the number of people who give the child as a number of parents. As the first lady launched the EMTCT platform in Hoima, she appealed to everyone not to slip off the hook in the fight against epidemic. If each man head of a family says that in their household, and becomes the role model for their children, we will defeat HIV and AIDS. We really meant to continue this work with you. And we know that together, we will achieve an AIDS-free generation. This concedes with strides made by the Ministry of Health and HIV donors to have every positive person that requires ARVs to have them.